or post pain. Hmm. This has been a long-standing burning question over here in my country, the Philippines. So I'm gonna try to answer it as hard as I can. Okay, I've I've had experiences with both. Good evening, Money and Light Movement. This is JJ Ramos. Welcome to Random Thoughts. Prepaid or post pain? Based on my experience, uh, I've uh, I've had better I've had uh, better success with prepaid. Right. Number one. Well, payment is payment is not a problem because you pay for your airtime, your texting, and your internet upfront. Then you're good to go. You can now use you can now use the service. When it comes to postpaid, well, you gotta use it first. Then they then they bill you. It's only then you have. It's only then you have, you, know, you you need to pay. Now, uh, that's num that's my number one reason. Number two is the stress. Okay. Why? Why is it? Why is it more stressful to be on postpaid than prepaid? Well, if you have been on postpaid uh, on postpaid airtime, you know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about. It is very stressful that at the end of the month you're going to see your bill uh, shot up all of a sudden, without even without you knowing, right? But when it comes to prepaid, it's already paid. That's why. That's why the term prepaid. You've already paid for your airtime, text, and internet. As I was saying, pay. You already paid your uh, your your call, your call, your calling, your texting, and your internet upfront. So you can use it right away. You just use it right away until it's until you're done with it. Okay. Hey, I'm right here in the Coffee Bean and TV Southwest Mall. Here's what I have on my snack. Mm -hmm. That's why there's a delay. <laughs> they already served me my snack. So those are my those are my two reasons why uh, prepaid is better than postpaid. Okay? Let's have let's have the healthiest discussion on that possible. Okay? So that's about it. And well, thank you for Thank you for thank you for watching this episode and I'll see you in the next one.